In other news now, the House of Representatives Committee on Navy has begun investigation into the Deep Blue Project contract, amounting to $195.3 million, illegally awarded to HSL International Limited. The Nigerian Army, the Air Force and the Navy were grilled by the committee, who vowed to do everything to recover the said load. Emmanuel Ehijini's report is presented from our studios. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Yusuf Gagdi, laid the premise for the investigation which will involve the Ministry of Finance, Transport, NIMASA, the Bureau of Public Procurement and the Armed Forces. And this is what they say. A reference to a letter this. Please be informed that there is no information on the exact name HSL International Limited readily available as a registered entity on the corporate commission's record. You may wish to, however, forward the available document in support of their registration to us to enable us to investigate further. The committee was interested in knowing if the armed forces played any part in the conceptualization of the project, number of equipment each got, and if the ones supplied for the operation met standard specifications. The Navy and the Army responded to the question explaining the numbers of equipment they received and their condition as time of delivery but the Air Force opted to send in a written submission. On the issue of conceptualization, the Air Force was not part of the conceptualization of the project. However, we have a member on the steering committee, which came into being during the execution phase of the project. It was supposed to provide six, 16 armored Buffalo vehicles up until date, uh, we have received only six. The remaining ten are still at the port in Oné, and we only trained with six of those vehicles, and those vehicles are in Elele Barracks. Thank you very much, sir. A letter from the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Nigerian Port Authority, which was read out by the chairman, indicated they never had any knowledge of the transaction, hence were cleared by the committee to appear. But findings by the committee also showed that HSL International is not registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, as such lacks the legality to engage in any project on the shores of the country. inform you that Central Bank does not have any information related to the above caption transaction in our custody. We advise you to channel this request to respective ministries for action. It means that Central Bank are not part of the... I want to mention here, which is true, in my own investigation, they are not. The committee adjourned sitting to Thursday to take further submissions from BPP and others, while Tuesday next week will host Ministers of Transport, Finance, and the Director General of NIMASA. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.